be built man. You've got to admire Bolt, haven't you? As he goes to his blocks a year after year after year, he comes out and gets it right. And what I love about Usain Bolt is that he only produces the really big performances when they're required. He's been beaten on occasion by one or two athletes in the warm-up races of the season. But again and again, Martin, he defies the cynics and produces it on the day at the major championships. So Powell in three, Bolt in four, Blake in five, Bailey Cole in six. And just listen to that noise. They get away first time, although Bolt is away incredibly slow and he's got a lot of work to do. Powell leads him, but here comes Bolt. Bolt is sweeping past Blake, even time to ease down. Well, there's a shake of the head, but look at the clock. It's frozen there at 9.90. And that, despite giving the rest something like a one or two meter lead. Well, he simply fell out of the blocks, didn't he? Missed the break altogether. Yet he has the quality to come through and in the end, win with some ease. A decent run from Jan Blake when he analyzes it. He will feel that he's starting to get himself back onto the right track. But as we've said so often, in the end, it really was a one-man affair. Yeah, very impressive indeed, considering the uh, start was a bit of a disaster. It was a bit of a stumble. He did give away, what, a metre, a metre and a half to the rest of the field. But when he got into his running, he looked very crisp indeed. Look at that, still shaking his head, still angry with himself, I think, Martin. Watch, there it is. Yeah, little s scuff of the foot. There was a stumble to begin with, then a scuff of the foot with about his fourth stride. He lost an awful lot of ground. He comes through, eases off of the tape there to win. And the time actually has been rounded down to 9.88. So only uh, the world number one this year, Jimmy Vico, ahead of him in the world rankings with that 9.86 from a few days ago, the Frenchman. But Usain Bolt could have gone a lot quicker there had he run through the tape. I mean, he's eased off, what, four or five strides out there. He's dropped his arms and with a better start too. You're seeing an Usain Bolt here, I think, who runs 9.88 with a one plus one following wind but could have been very, very significantly quicker, maybe a couple of metres quicker, Martin, and then we're talking about sub-9.7 territory. And you're not looking at something too far off the, the best of Usain Bolt, I think, here. Well, I reckon we can find a metre there just by brushing up that start. And maybe even running through the line as well. Four men inside 10 seconds, Nikhil Ashmead. We've yet to really give him due credit, finishing very fast, closest to the camera. Ashmead, very close for second place with Johan Blake. Indeed, Nikhil Ashmead has been given second place at the same time as Johan Blake. Blake, 9.94. He's got cause to be happy with that. He's beaten all in Jamaica, apart from Bolt and Ashmead, and there is confirmation. Bolt takes it, 9.88, with, well, a stumble, a missed start, call it what you will. It wasn't Usain Bolt at his brilliant best, but he can still run, 9.88. Ashmead, 9.94, Blake, 9.94, Asava Pal, former world record holder, 9.98. And that's the fastest Blake has run for four years. His big seasons were 2011 and 2012. And he ran 9.95 recently. <coughs> Excuse me, that was in the middle of April. But 9.94, well, we haven't seen Blake running that quick for fully four years. So well done to him for battling through those hamstring injuries, getting back into great shape. And I'm sure he will come on in coming weeks, Martin. And there is uh, battle royals ahead, of course, when you think about the best of the Americans. And uh, the likes of Gatlin who's uh, been in very good shape this year, 9.93. Remember Gatlin in Rome.